guys, welcome back to Great Salami. All right, guys, before we get started, let's do the three-second sub challenge. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys can do the three-second like challenge. And don't forget, if you do it within three seconds, make sure to comment down below, mega fan. All right, Great Salami, are you ready? Let's do this in three, two, one. Thank you so much for doing that. You're now part of the pretzel army. All right, pretzel army. So today I'm going to be showing you some awesome hacks on like different sort of pet hacks that you can do with your pets. And I think these are some of the best hacks I've ever found. So let's get straight into this. Let's head down into the main center. And guys, don't forget that I am still doing those fly and ride pushing giveaways. I'm giving tons and tons of those potions away. So make sure to watch the whole video until the end without skipping. So you don't miss the three emojis that will be randomly appearing throughout this video on the screen. And make sure to comment which ones you saw down below. And don't forget to comment your Roblox username down below guys so let's stop right let's drop down and every vid that I do in a private server I always forget that I'm in a private server I always go down to check what's happening so this is my favorite hack that I've ever found in Adopt Me. It has to be the best because it's just so crazy. And it's something that the devs like Nifisi B think and the whole Adopt Me team has put into the game themselves. So they've coded it to make this actually happen. So I'm gonna head into the school. So the first step is to just head inside the school. And then you'll see that there are these four rooms here. Up the back, we've got the computer room, then like the principal room, people call it. Then over here, we've got like the classroom. And then here, we've got the pet room. Room, which is my favorite and this is where we're going to be doing this hack so as you can see here we've got pet trainer Shane who teaches your pets some new tricks and wait I'm just gonna check does Starburst need like to learn any tricks or is she fully trained uh good day mate want me to train your animal oh Starburst is already extremely smart and knows every trick in the book awesome I love it how pet trainer Shane is so like stereotypically Aussie like pretty much Everybody's thoughts on an Aussie is like they walk around saying, Good day, mate. Vasabo, you want to chuck some shrimp on the barbe and stuff like that. We don't talk like that. Well, most of us don't. I'm from Australia, you guys, and we don't always say, Good day, mate. We say, like, Hello, hi, how are you? That sort of stuff. We don't just walk around saying, Good day. But it's pretty cool that Pet Trainer Shane is obviously Aussie by the way that he talks. Okay, so we'll come back to Pet Trainer Shane later on for another hack. But what we want to do to start off with is walk over to this orangey sort of creamy sofa or couch. And what you want to do is just jump on it and sit on it. So once you're sitting on this side, use your controls and take a look at your pet. Because as you move and as you use your controls, your pet will just walk around. Well, you say sitting on the sofa. Like, let's say, I'm just going to say Starburst, go to Pet Trainer Shane. Then take a look. She just walks to Pet Trainer Shane because I'm using my controls and I'm going forward. And I can go Starburst, come back to me. And I just do the other key and she comes right back to me. Like, she can go all the way to the door. She can go sleep by herself. This is like a really fun hack to do. But there's also another way to do this hack where you don't need to sit on the sofa. But what you can do, you can come back to Pet Trainer Shane, the Aussie guy, and you can get out any other pet. So I think I might use Ginger, my Ginger Cat, for this. So what you want to do is zoom in all the way and then walk up to him and then press E. So when you're talking to him, you can actually control your pet. And Ginger is running quite fast today, uh, she's doing laps. Let's take her over to the bowls and take a look. She's like on the food bowl, on the water bowl, and then let's take her over to the beds. She can have a little nap and then she can come like back to Pet Trainer Shane. This is really cool because you can just control your pet. And an awesome other thing to do is click Ginger Cat and then like get your pet to eat or drink from the food bowls and then pick that pet up and then walk around. Then you'll have just a hovering pet. It makes you totally invisible, guys, and your pet will just be floating around. This is actually really cool. Like, you're legitimately invisible when you're picking up your pet. Look at my cat jumping on top of Pet Trainer Shane's head. That's actually really funny to watch. Turns out my pet needs to learn some new tricks, so, so Ginger can just do that, and I'm gonna head outside of here. We can get on with this next hack. That's like my favorite hack of all time in Adopt Me because of how cool it is. And what is my cat doing right now? Oh, she's just sitting. Rolling over? Why is she doing these tricks in the in the grass? But before I show you the second one, guys, I just want to quickly show you something with Starburst. I'm just going to walk up to Santa and take a look at this. I can actually control Starburst and where she's going. So if I can just press E and then pick up, take a look. She's actually like jumping around. She's jumping on the gifts. She's jumping on Santa's head. Um, this is actually really funny. I could just make her walk around on the map and she would be just hovering there or just running around by herself. That would be so epic. So guys, try that hack out. It's heaps of fun and it looks really cool. Okay guys, so for this next one, I'm going to be showing you a hack on how to get a rainbow streak coming from the back of your pet when you're flying it or just when you're like cruising around because it looks really cool. And let's just start by flying Starburst. And as you can- Whoa, what just happened? 
That was really weird. Adopt Me has been so glitchy recently. It must be because the new Circus update is coming and they're just going to be fixing everything and there's like different changes to Adopt Me that are happening. So it's just a little bit glitchy now. But when we go around, as you can see, we only have these pink streaks coming from Starburst Swings. But guys, you can actually add a rainbow streak to it as well. Check this out. So as you can see, I'm just flying around and not only are there two pink streaks coming from the back of Starburst, there's a rainbow streak as well. And it looks really cool because it does like a wavy thing as you go around. And I'm going to be showing you the way that you do this. So the first step is to head over to the baby shop, which right now is next to the playground. And once we head in here, I'll show you what you need to get to be able to do this hack. So if we stop right, we can just go over and talk to Ida and she sells all of the baby stuff here. So wait, can we move Starburst while we're doing this? Oh my gosh, she's legit just walking around. This is so cool. So it turns out you can do it whenever you're talking to like someone in Adopt Me. Okay, so what you need for this hack, guys, is to head over to the strollers. And as you can see, here we've got the stroller, the cloud stroller, the double stroller, blah, 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 blah. And then we have this really cool looking one. And it looks like a cloud with stars coming out of it. And it's got like a rainbow handle. So this is the one that you're going to want to buy. It is 2000 bucks, which is a little bit pricey. So go check out my money making videos because I show you how to make so much money over there. The making 2000 bucks will happen like that. You'll be able to make so much money and you'll be able to do this hack really easily. And once you buy the rainbow stroller, you'll be able to do this hack forever. And what you want to do now, once you've got it, is go into your backpack, go into strollers, and then take out the rainbow stroller. And then when you fly or ride your pet, I'm gonna start by riding, when you go around, there's a rainbow streak. So let's head outside because out here, it looks a little bit better. And as you can see here, Take a look at this. We're legit riding on a rainbow. We're walking on a rainbow pretty much. And when we fly, we are legitimately flying with a rainbow coming out from behind us. And it looks like Starburst is like eating a cloud or just like on a cloud. So it doesn't even look like a stroller. So that's really cool. Heaps of you guys have been asking me how I do it. So here you go. This is how you do the hack. And go try it out for yourself. And let me know over on my Instagram or on my Twitter how you did this and what pet you fly with. And like send me a pic because I really want to see you guys using this hack. And I just think it looks really cool. And I want to see people in game doing this because I barely ever see anyone doing this hack. And look at the handle, guys. It's like a rainbow necklace for Starburst. Like, it's legitimately a necklace. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Okay, guys, so I've actually got some really sad news. Um, that was Starburst's last fly as a normal unicorn. Because what's going to be happening... She's getting upgraded. She's becoming a neon. Guys, I'm actually going to be making a neon unicorn and Starburst is going to be the main one. So Starburst, we're upgrading you. We're combining four fully grown unicorns and you're going to be a neon. Are you ready? I don't think she is. I don't think she's ready for this awesomeness. Are you guys ready for Islami? Smash the like, subscribe to my channel if you're ready. Comment down below, hashtag Neon Starburst if you're ready. Let's do this. I'm gonna head to the Neon Cave, but I think I might do this on a public server because I've seen people go, come to the Neon Cave if you wanna see me make a Neon Unicorn and heaps of people come. So I'm just gonna quickly jump over to a public server so that people can watch me do this because I like watching people make Neons. I don't know if you guys do, but I always go when someone says that sort of stuff. Alright guys, so I'm in a public server. I'm about to say to everybody that I'm going to be making a neon uni. Okay, we've got four fully grown unis. Oh wait, no! No we don't! I've got one uni that isn't fully grown. I totally forgot. Let's go. Uh, if I go, this unicorn that's posting has one task until it's fully grown. There's like two little pixels there. So let's go. Let's feed this unicorn a sandwich. Let's go. This is the last task until we can make it neon. Oh my gosh. There we go, it is full grown. Guys, we can actually make Starburst into a neon uni. Let's make the announcement, and I'm just gonna say, come to the neon cave if you want to see a mega, no, not a mega neon, Um, not yet Starburst, not yet, but I'm just gonna say, come to the neon cave if you want to see a mega, oh my gosh, I keep on saying mega neon, if you want to see a neon uni being made. So this is the original Starburst, guys. We're upgrading her today. Let's go. This person just came. I want to see. So he just said, follow me if you want to see a neon uni being made. And I think these people do want to come. So let's go. They're following. Okay, guys. So let's play Starburst first. I'm so happy. This is going to be so cool. She's going to love this. She's going to love this life as a neon. Okay, there she is, guys. Waiting for the rest of them to get loaded in. Okay, let's place the next one. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so cool. Let's place it down. They're all facing the center. I'm going to make sure of that. Let's place this third one down. One more to make the neon uni. So let's place it. Let's go. This neon uni. This is going to be amazing. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's coming out. It's coming. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, look at this. It is a neon uni. Let's quickly go dress her up. Let's put on the Starburst iconic outfit. Starburst has just had the best upgrade ever, guys. Guys, look at her. She looks absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh, she's neon. This, this is so cool. If you haven't noticed already, I'm kind of excited about this. All right, let's get on with this next hack, guys. Let's go into the open. Oh my gosh, Starburst. Are you, are you loving yourself right now? Are you loving yourself in your outfit? In your neon form? Guys, I just brought her to the main center and she's like dancing in the air on a disco explosion. So now the Starburst is a neon uni. We need to make her something special. So let's head in to the free pet shop and let's go. I'm gonna have to quickly lock it so people don't come in and think they can get free pets because the free pet shop isn't open right now. But we'll be opening again really, really soon and I will be putting my joints on so that the pet salami can come in. So as you can see, we've just got a free pet shop here and sometimes I open it up and give free pets to the pet salami. So make sure that you're subscribed and join my Roblox group because that's where I tell you guys like where you can get these free pets from and when this place is opened. So we're going to be making Starburst something special in here today. What I'm going to do is make Starburst a floating cloud bed. So I'm really not sure where I should do this. Maybe in this corner here when you walk in. So the first thing you want to do for this build hack, guys, is to go and get two barriers. And there we go. I'm just going to put one to the side for now and one on the wall. And you're just going to want to figure out what height you want it at. I think I want it at this height. So it's like... Uh, eye level. So like the cloud is a bit eye level. So what you're gonna start to want to do is just go and get the decorative pot. So just a chuck pot and it comes up with these decorative pots for $10 each and you'll just want to place these as nicely as you can. So these pots are going to be like making the cloud. So if I move this down, I put one of the pots underneath and I'm just trying to get it in like the perfect position. So the next step is to push this barrier down so you know where the cloud is and then figure out whether you like it there or want to move it. And really this hack is a bit of like what you want and how big you want it, how small you want it. So I'm placing all these pots on top now guys. And there we go, that's four there. And then you're going to want to make it bigger and bigger as you go up the layers. So, so far, so good. That looks, that actually looks pretty cool. So once you've got a cool looking cloud with a bunch of these pots, the next step is to go and search up bed. And what you want to do is scroll until you find the cloud, not the cloud bed, the castle pet bed. So as you can see, it's 160 bucks. So next up, once you've got the castle bed, you want to place the barrier on where you want that bed to go. So I want to place it around about here and you'll be able to figure it out as you go along, what looks good, what doesn't, and just change it to whatever like theme color you're going for. I think I'll go for a nice light pink for this because like this room, um, surprise, surprise, it's pink. <laughs> I think this is a pretty cool cloud bed. And then if I go into stop editing, I can actually get Starburst and she can just sleep in there and she can have a good time. I think I might tilt this like that. I can just go unicorn and she looks at you when you walk in. Next step is to go into edit house and search up unicorn or just uni if you want to. So I'm just going to search up uni and as you can see, we have this unicorn lamp. So that's where the second barrier comes in. So if you get this barrier, then you can place it all the way to the top until you see just little spikes of pink popping out of the top. And then what you want to do is place the unicorns on that little like spike of pink that you see. So I've placed all the little unicorns here. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Like I think of them as like guardian unicorns, guarding the cloud bed. Okay, Fred Salami, so for this hack, I'm in the school. And as you can see, Starburst is doing the school task. So sometimes you just want to run away from your pets and go and do something else while they're like doing their orange tasks. So the way that you do this is go into your toys, go and find like a chew toy. So I'm going to be using the rope chew toy for this. And what you want to do is just click so it goes down and your pet will just chew on it and you can walk around, you can just leave it there. And the chew toy lets them stay there while they're doing their tasks. So if they had the pool party task, you went to the pool party and you just dropped them off there while you went to got some healing apples from the hospital while your pet's sick. So you can actually leave the place that they're doing the task and they're still doing it. Like if she had the school task still and it wasn't done she'll be leveling up and making money while you're going and doing something else for example getting healing apples to level her up and let's head into here and i can show you that starburst is still there the neon unicorn she hasn't been stolen or anything so as you can see she's still here and you can just pick up the toy and then go and click on her and feed her i'm just gonna feed her the healing apple because she's a little bit ill at the moment and as you can see she's leveled up from us leaving her behind from that task and bam just like that and she has another task 
She has so many tasks today. It's actually crazy. So while she sleeps, guys, let's announce another winner of another giveaway. All right, guys, so the winner of another ride potion is on the screen right now. Congratulations. I hope you have an awesome time with your potion. And guys, don't forget to change the giveaway. All you need to do is join the Pet Salami, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below your Roblox username and what emojis you saw. And have the best day ever, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.